Now welcome to another week of Georgia Southern Football. I'm Josh Aubrey here in Conway, South Carolina for this evening's contest between the Georgia Southern Eagles and the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. The Eagles coming into this game after their season opening win against West Georgia in which they looked pretty sharp in the second half. And the Eagles led by Jason Foster at quarterback. Foster rushed for over 200 yards and three touchdowns and threw for over 100 and another score. Tonight they take on the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers who come into this game with a record of 1-1. One one. They picked up their first win of the season last week at home. The cat's out of the bag now. Everyone knows about Jason Foster. Will that matter? Let's send you right out for the action. A good number of GSU fans making the four-plus hour trip to Conway for Saturday night's game. The Eagles come to life late in the first quarter. Jason Foster to Lamar Lewis for a first down, down to the 47-yard line. Two plays later, Foster doing what he'd do often on this night, breaking free and breaking tackles. 31 yards for the score, 7-0 Eagles. The Chanticleers respond moments later as the give is inside to Jamie Fordham, and he'll outrun everyone. 61 yards for the score, and in less than a minute, both teams score, and it's seven all. Eagles not done, though. Lamar Lewis with a big game, 206 yards rushing. Foster would have an even better night, though. More on that later. Here he goes. 36 yards for the score. It's 14 to 7. Georgia Southern on top. We move to the second half. GSU going to the air, but this one picked off by Keon Cunningham, who gets deep into Eagle territory. From there, Coastal goes to the big guy, 5'10, 250 pound Mike Tolbert. And we're tied as he busts free. 14 all, but the Eagles right back, and they give us to Zeke Rozier. He gallops ahead 36 yards to the Coastal 48-yard line. And it's Foster once again. And here he comes, 56 yards in for his third TD of the half. 24, at that 21-14 Eagles at the half. Get a bird's eye view of the second half action as Coastal quarterback William Richardson ties the game at 21 all with the sneak. Again, like a good heavyweight boxing match, the Eagles able to counter though. First, the fake punt on fourth and four from the 34. Chris Covington able to pick up the yardage to get it onto the fourth quarter, and guess who? Jason Foster, nice moves, 18 yards, touchdown, Eagles 28-21. Again, the Chanticleers able to answer Richardson deep to Santini, Washington, and great catch, Santini. From there, it's the big guy once again. Looks like he fumbles it in. The refs rule it good, though. They've missed the extra point, and it's 28-27, Eagles. A big play coming up here on the punt return. Mario Norman coughs up the ball. And Georgia Southern's Sean Gray there to recover for the Eagles. From there, stop me if you've heard this one before. Jason Foster breaking free for the touchdown run. His fifth score of the game. Touchdown. The Eagle defense then comes up with a big play. Dedrick Bynum with the interception. GSU would then march downfield on two plays. First, a long run by Lamar Lewis, and then you got it. Jason Foster's sixth touchdown run, one away from the NCAA record, and the Eagles win easily, 42-34. It has been. I mean, number four had an awesome game. I mean, you know, we had a good blocking up front, but, you know, he put on a show tonight. It, you know, as long as he's back that quarterback, it's going to be a great season. It was last game, last week, you know, we had a good competition, but this team was a way better team than we, than we played last year, you know. And coming here and getting a good win, you know, it just give us, it's boosted our confidence up for next weekend. I know it was a big win for us. It's uh, not a necessarily a conference game, but you want to win, especially going into conference play. So basically just a big win for our program. Um, you know, beating a quality team. I mean, heck, they were 9-2 and two last season, playoff team, um, the Big South champions there. Um, so we, we come into their place and, and come out with a, a big win for our football team.